Thank you guys, thank you. How, how's it going? You good? All right, cool. Give it, is this uh, your wife? Okay, it's your mistress or? It, it's just a prostitute you picked up. Good, all right. Do you guys watch porn together? No. Never? You do? All right, well, what, what kind of porn do you like watching? And she's like, why did we sit in the front? I watch porn with my wife. Here's the thing, I watched gay porn once with my wife and that is super gay. Like we, and this is before the internet. My wife came home and she's like, I wanna watch gay porn. I was like, okay, we'll go watch gay porn. She was like, no, I wanna watch gay porn with you. And I was, I was like, I'm not, a, I'm not a homophobe. So I was like, okay, she wants to watch gay porn. I'm comfortable enough, my sexuality. I can watch two guys fuck in front of me. It's not gonna change anything. I'm comfortable enough. So I was like, okay, we're gonna watch gay porn, but we gotta go now. We gotta watch it now, cause I'm comfortable now. I don't know where I'm gonna be in two days. So, and we go to the video store, cause in those days before the internet, you had to go out to rent gay porn. So we go to the video store. My wife goes into the video store. I waited in the car, cause I'm more comfortable in my car. So I'm... <laughs> She got this movie, it was uh, Two Firemen. The movie starts, Two Firemen at the fire station. They're super muscular. One of them looks at the other one. He goes, I hope there isn't a fire tonight because it's just you and just me. And I don't know if we're strong enough to put out a fire, just you and just me. And the other one goes, you look strong enough. Show me your muscles. So the first guy rips all his clothes off to show his muscles. It was really well written. So the guy, <laughs> The guy's fucking buck naked, he's rock hard. The other guy just starts rubbing his chest, he starts grabbing his dick, starts jerking him off. He's jerking him off, starts sucking him off. I'm watching this, I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable watching this and it's not doing anything to me or for me. And my wife, my wife though, she was getting turned on. Like I could tell, she didn't tell me she was turned on but I know her and she was masturbating. So she's, <laughs> she's masturbating. <laughs> They're blowing each other and I'm watching. And after a while, they start fucking. They start fucking in front of me and I'm still comfortable. I'm watching them fuck, who cares? Good for them, they could fuck. All right, so I'm watching them and then I realized my wife isn't, she's not even looking at the TV anymore. She's, she's looking at me. She was watching me watch them and that was turning her on even more. Like she started coming up to me, came up to me, started rubbing my chest, rubbing my belly, grabbed my dick, went to pull it out to suck on it. That's when I said, no, no, I'm watching a movie. Okay, cause I, I'm comfortable enough to watch gay porn, but my penis isn't, okay? My penis was scared shitless. My penis wanted to call 911, but he was afraid the fucking firemen were gonna show up. I... <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, anyone here ever try Viagra? Ever... Oh, fuck, it got quiet. Who tried Viagra? It's... Did you like it? Did you take it tonight? Are you hard now? Stand up and show us your cock. We, no, I tried, I tried, no, sit down, man. So I tried Viagra and uh, I didn't even know I had problems down there until I took Viagra and then I realized I'd never been hard for real my whole fucking life. And I got, I got shitty fake Viagra. It wasn't even real Viagra. I bought Viagra from a guy in a strip club and I was sure they weren't gonna work so I when I took the Viagra I popped two pills I'm I'm in a restaurant. I'm with my wife. It's lunchtime go to the bathroom pop two pills come back We're having we're eating soup. I'm eating she touches me. She doesn't touch me in a sexual way She touches me in a soup eating way like she she just goes like past the salt just just that that sound got me hard like and I wasn't super hard, but I was too hard for a guy eating soup. So I'm, so I told my wife, I was like, fuck it, fuck it, we're leaving. We're, and she was like, I'm eating. And I was like, put your soup in your purse. We're going home. <laughs> and when as soon as we got home, we fucked. Like we fucked and it was good. It was really good at the, for the, like the beginning. At first it was good. Like the first 20 minutes, I was like, this is fucking awesome. I'm not coming. I'm not coming. This is amazing. After 40 minutes, I was like, I'm not coming. This is awesome. After an hour, I was like, I'm not coming. Why? Why the fuck aren't I coming? After an hour and a half, I hadn't come. And an hour and a half. And, that, and this, like this was the sound coming out of my wife's pussy after an hour and a half. Sounded like a... It was dry. It was really, it was like trying to fuck 
Caitlyn Jenner's pussy dry. Like that's how, that was, that's crazy dry. I, I was afraid, I was afraid her vagina was get, gonna catch on fire. So I, I was like, I, I, I was like, I'm gonna fake an orgasm. I think I'm gonna fake an orgasm. Like my wife's been doing that for years. It's my turn. Right, so I, here's what I did. I was like, I'm gonna do like what they do in porn. Cause in porno movies, when the guy comes, at the end of every porno, the guy always goes, I'm gonna come and he pulls his dick out and he jerks off and he doesn't come for real at first. And I'm sorry if you've never seen porn, I'm sorry to ruin the ending. But that's, <laughs> that's what I was gonna do. I was like, I'm gonna put my dick out, masturbate, and I'll eventually come, she won't even notice. I pull my dick out and I'm like, I'm coming, I'm coming, almost, almost, almost for nine fucking minutes. <laughs> By the time I came, she wasn't even there anymore. She was in the bathroom wiping the blood off her pussy. She... <laughs> so she wasn't totally dry. Okay. That's... <laughs> I... <laughs> You're not... <laughs> You're not supposed to use the word retard, right? Everybody knows that, but I like the word retard. Like, I still use that word, and it pisses people off. Like, I use that in my act. The other night, this woman comes up to me after the show, and she's like, my son is a retard, and I don't think he'd appreciate your type of humor. And I was like, of course he wouldn't appreciate my type of humor. He's a fucking retard. <laughs> he he wouldn't get anything of what I do. He'd just be looking at me with his big dumb eyes going, I want to see magic. That'd be... <laughs> and she, she, she was like, stop using the R word. She didn't even say the word retard. She called it the R word. And I was like, fuck you. The R word doesn't exist, okay? The, it's not the R word. It's retard. It's not the C word. It's cunt. You can't fucking just use a letter for words you don't like. The only one that we should use a letter for is the N word, but the other ones are just trying to steal the fucking letter thing from black people. You can't fucking, black people have worked hard for that shit. You can't, you can't steal that from, especially that woman. Like she's trying to compare what black people have been through in America to what her fucking soft headed son goes through. <laughs> That's a total lack of respect for black people everywhere. I was insulted, like I was insulted for all my black friends, because that's insulting, to, that's an insult to black people, it's an insult to their ancestors, it's insulting to slaves, that's even an insult for slave owners, because no slave owner would have bought a fucking retard. I'm sorry, he would have been the worst goddamn slave ever. You would have been like, fucking slave, I put him outside to pick cotton, he's eating my cotton, what the fuck? I, 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 you guys are fun. All right. I, I, uh, thanks, guys. I drink a lot. I, uh, I like to drink. Here's what I like about booze. It gives you confidence to do shit you wouldn't do if you were sober, right? Like the other night, I put my dick in someone's drink and... If I was sober, I'm 30% sure I wouldn't have done that. But <laughs> drunk, fucking amazing idea. So I'm, I'm at my buddy Dave's house, right? My buddy Dave, it's his uh, wife's birthday party, his girlfriend's birthday party. I'm there with my wife. And when we get there, and this guy starts hitting on my wife. And he's hitting on my wife, and I trust my wife. I trust my wife. And the guy was telling her how hot she is, and she is hot. And I was like, good for her. It's about time someone tells her. So she's... <laughs> I'm just drinking, and after a, a while, I notice, like, the guy's still hitting on my wife. I look at my watch, it's been, it's been an hour, and he's still hitting on my wife. Here's the thing, hit on my wife five minutes, I'm, I'm fine with that. Hit on my wife five minutes, I find that cute, I find that charming. Hit on my wife for one hour, I'm gonna put my dick in your drink. That's... <laughs> That's, that's how I am. So I'm looking at this guy, and the guy saw me staring at him, and he got nervous, and he was like, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Can you watch my drink? And I was like, fuck, my life is so easy. So I, I had this guy's drink in my hand, but there's tons of people in the kitchen, so I can't just whip out my dick in the kitchen in front of everyone. So I'm thinking where I can go. My, my buddy Dave comes back to the kitchen. He's like, everybody, come to the living room. We're gonna sing happy birthday to my girlfriend in the living room. So they all left. I'm alone with this fucking asshole's drink. And he was drinking champagne at this stupid glass. So I put the stupid glass champagne on the table, pull my dick out, 
put the tip of my cock in the champagne. Best feeling ever. <laughs> It's crazy how good that feels. It's like, you can't even, I had 35 million bubbles tickling my cock at the same time. So I'm sitting there laughing and I'm like, ha 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 ha. And the more I laughed, the more bubbles came in to tickle my cock. It was crazy. And I had people in the background singing happy birthday. It was crazy. I was like, oh, it's your birthday, big guy, make a wish. So I'm, I'm just fucking flicking the guys drink with my cock. I hear the toilet flush, so I put my dick out of the champagne, go to put my dick back in my pants, but my dick was sticky. It was sticky before the champagne, but now <laughs> it was stickier. <laughs> so, so I wipe my dick out uh, on the tablecloth, put my penis back in my pants. Since my penis back in my pants, everybody comes back from the living room, the guy opens the bathroom door, I give him the drink, and he drank the whole glass of champagne, and it was the best day ever. It was, I became spiritual that day. I was, I, 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 was, I looked at him and I was like, holy fuck, karma exists for real. You wanted to eat my wife's pussy? Fuck you, taste the cock. Thank you guys so much. That's it.